Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to be going over the bevel tool. Bevel is another one of those very commonly used tools. So it's natural it was going to be included in our deep dive into Maya's modeling tool series. This year, I aim to learn some new Maya tools. It's been a long time since I've looked through the documentation, and I hope to find some extra tricks I can use day to day. Beveling objects can be a really nice way to get some desirable highlights coming from our edges. A cube on its own, as a primitive, doesn't have enough geometry to bounce the highlights, as it only uses one face connected to each other. So we can bevel by hitting Ctrl B on the keyboard, which I think is a great shortcut to get used to, as when modeling, it's common to bevel often. And by default, we're gonna get this result and we get a few options to play with. So let's just go ahead and start with by reducing our refraction a little, which is just gonna reduce the size of our bevel. Next, we have segments. By default, this is set to one. Increasing this value will give us a rounder result. Depth allows us to invert the look from negative one to one. And you can see the sort of result we get from this. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave this at one. Mittering basically allows us to change how intersecting beveled edges are joined together. So let's go ahead and unhide our other example here. We can dive a little bit deeper into mittering. So go ahead and just see each of these settings. It's probably best to play around with these depending on what works well with your particular mesh and topology. But there's uniform, patch, radial, and we can also set this to none as well. Auto usually does a good job for deciding for us, but it's nice to have control when we need it. Right, so going back to our cube, looking at the edges, it seems to be giving us a much more realistic result in terms of the highlights we get on the edges. So I think the last thing I want to cover in this tutorial is chamfer. So see how we're getting this nice rounded result. If we go ahead and turn off the chamfer by just clicking the tick checkbox and let's go ahead and just set the segments to one. Notice how we lose the curvature, but we get a similar result to if we had added these supporting edges in manually. This is sometimes what you want, opposed to, you know, getting the angle of your edge changed by the chamfer. The bevel tool, it's a super handy tool and a tool you're likely going to be using very often. Be sure to join the Discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers and check out my Gumroad for access to the members only chat and a whole bunch of assets and tools. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on Discord and I'll see you in the next video.